In this video, I will give you a brief tutorial on solving a steady state circuit with inductors and capacitors in it. So the principles for this process are as follows. One, sketch the steady state circuit. It's simple and straightforward, so you should just do it. Otherwise, you can get confused. And two, solve for the desired circuit parameters. So in this example, I want the inductor current and the capacitor voltage at steady state. So as a reminder, how, what does steady state mean? Well, it means that the currents and voltages are constant. That means that the derivative for any voltage or current in the circuit is zero at steady state. And because of the relationships given here, that means that any capacitor current is zero and any inductor voltage is zero. So we'll remind ourselves of this. So for an inductor, we have that the voltage has to be zero, the current we don't know, and for capacitor, the current has to be zero, the voltage we don't know. So the inductor then behaves like a short circuit and the capacitor behaves like an open circuit. And one mnemonic here, if you don't want to go through this reasoning, is to use the stretch method. So let's sketch a capacitor and an inductor. And so as you imagine stretching that inductor, well, you get you stretch it out to a wire. Pulling that capacitor apart, you you uh, separate the plates, and so the thing really, you know, just it, it looks like an open circuit. So that's the idea here: is that uh, it's just a memory aid to remember short circuit, open circuit. So that's a stretch method. So let's go back to our circuit, and then we'll sketch it in steady state. It looks like this. So let's just zoom out so we can see both. That's what it looks like. And so now we can see that we can use circuit analysis techniques to get VC and IL. IL can just be obtained by Ohm's law. And uh, VC, well, if you look carefully at the nodes, VC is the voltage across R2, and we can get the voltage across R2 using voltage division. So I just explicitly did it by taking current times resistance in Ohm's law, but I'm just going to show you here that that's the same as voltage division. So the point here is that in steady state analysis with resistors, inductors, and capacitors, it's very easy. Uh, just draw the circuit, sketch it uh, in the right steady state. If you have a switch, you may have to think about what steady state is at different times. But in this simple example, substitute the elements, remind yourself by the stretch rule, and then just do the circuit analysis. That easy. I hope you find that helpful. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave comments and questions below.